Hey guys, so we're hooking up a 240 volt electric water heater. There was a gas water heater in this spot and I took it out and I'm putting it in an electric one guys. So stay tuned to this video because it's going to be a good one guys. Uh, and we're hooking it up to an old school panel like this guys. Um, and we're not hooking up through this part. This is already used for the air conditioner. We're gonna hook it up through those. I will show you how to go from 120 volt to 240 volts in this video. Let's get started right away guys. And remember, do everything at your own risk. Uh, check your codes and all that. I'm not responsible for you. This is for entertainment only. So the first absolute thing you need to figure out is what type of wire you need, like what size, what gauge. Uh, I will explain all that in this video. And also you need to figure out what size fuses you're gonna need for whatever you're running. You could be running a heater, uh, 240 volts. You could be running a water heater. You could be running a compressor, right? So in our case, see right in this book that came with it, you have to look through the book and it will tell you, see it says total water heater wattage, right? So if you have a 3000 uh, watt heater, it gives you the information, right? So what you do is you go onto your water heater and right on the front, there's always a sticker on these. It will tell you right here what you have, right? So we have wattage, uh, 3,000, 3,000. 3, so we have the 3,000 one, 240 volts. Sorry if this is boring, but it won't be boring for long. Anyways, so now we know we have the 3,000 heater wattage, uh, water heater, right? Or whatever you're hooking up. Um, so in our case, right, uh, the fuses we're gonna need are 20s for 240 volts. So we're gonna need 20 fuses, which we have. And the wire, what you wanna get is a 12 gauge wire. A gauge of a wire is like the thickness of it. The smaller the number, the thicker the wire. So see if we had like this, for example, we would need a 25 fuse and we would need you know, a 10 gauge wire. But in our case, we need a 20 amp fuse and a 12 gauge wire. So basically what I did is I went to an electrical store and I was like, give me a 12 gauge wire for a water heater. Um, it's got 12 gauge thickness. You need a black, a red. They were out of red, so I just put red tape on it. No big deal. And it needs a ground, right? So it's called a 12 dash two wire that's what you need for a water heater or like a little heater for your garage or whatever you're hooking up with 240 volts um what you have to do is you got to take the white wire and you have to put red tape on it it has to be black and red okay so obviously the first thing we're going to do guys is hook these up here so let's quickly do that since our wire is exposed um we're using a metal wire like this uh, with, that's what you're supposed to use when it's exposed. If you were running this to like a plug-in for an electric heater, you could just get a regular wire, but it still has to be 12 gauge or whatever your thing that you want is rated for. Okay, so let's hook this up. Okay, so since uh, this has this metal on it, the first thing you have to do is grab one of these little guys um, and that goes in there. Let me just put that on. Okay, see, there you go. You just slide it in like that, and that prevents the wire from getting cut on this outside stuff. Okay, next you need one of these. Uh, you can get these anywhere. You could show them this video and this picture if you have to. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward, right? So this thing just goes in uh, like so, right? You, take, you screw this off. And you're gonna put it in, and then you're gonna screw it in from the other side on these two covers. So let me do that off camera. Actually, I'm gonna do it on camera for you guys. So you put this in, you take this thing, screw it on, right? Tighten it up if you have to. All right, so there it is, right? So now, with this plastic thing on here, right? You're gonna go like this, put these through, Just like that, right? Boom. And then you're gonna tighten this so it keeps the wire where it's gotta be. All right, she's in. 
see, just like that. So now using these things, we're gonna hook up the black to the black, the red to the red, pretty straightforward. This loops around like this, right? And you're gonna attach it to your ground. You get what I'm saying? Okay, let me just quickly do that. Okay, now we're gonna put this cover on. Pretty straightforward. I mean, this might be different on yours. Ah, there we go. Okay, guys, so this part is connected and then you run your wire, however, right? to the fuse box. Okay, so now at the fuse box, we have our wire, right? We're gonna put red tape on the white one. So in the future, an electrician knows uh, that this is 240 volts, right? Um, so at the fuse box, it doesn't matter if you have this style, like if you have one row of fuses or if you have one row and another row, I will show you how to hook it all up so what, now what you have to do is cut the power to it. In our case, there's no switch on this actual fuse box. There is another fuse box that feeds it. So we have to go into the garage and cut the power in there. So let's go do that. Okay, guys. So in our case, what we got to do is cut the power here. Yes, it's a little weird, but you cut the power there. See that runs all the way into the house. And that goes into that panel that I just showed you guys. Check out my car, guys. I got a whole series on this. You should check it out. Okay, let's go back in the house. The power is off. And yes, guys, we are in Canada. Full blown out winter here. Um, all right, let's get back in the basement. Okay, guys, the power is off. So now what we gotta do is we gotta pull this cover off. There's one, two, three, four screws. It might be different in your situation. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, guys, the cover is off. So obviously you want to grab yourself a voltmeter. Um, so this here would be direct current, like a car battery, like 12 volts, that kind of current. Uh, right here is alternating current. So 200, 200 volts would be not enough. So 250 volts. And you want to touch that black wire and the red wire. Just make sure that the power is turned off. It's got to be at zero. Okay, here I go, guys. Okay, we got zero. The power is off. Okay, guys, so next what you got to do is you got to do the same thing. You got to put the little plastic thing in there, right? Just like we did before. That metal piece, right? You find an existing hole here, like we have one there. So we're basically going to put that through, screw it all together, and just have these wires inside of the box. So I'm just quickly gonna do that off camera. Uh, you already know how to do that. Okay guys, so I got the wire in just the way I said I would. See, there it is. I got it in, uh, no big deal. There you go. Okay, let me give you a few quick examples here. So this runs the air conditioner, 240 volts, right? Um, so you got the black wire and the red wire coming in from the garage, right? That gives you 240 volts. So this feeds this whole line and the red one feeds this whole line, right? So for the air conditioner, see you got a black, like there's fuses in here that run this way. Um, so the, basically the white wire goes to the air conditioner that goes, that gets power off of this. The black one, see there's a fuse that goes to that side and that gets power off of this creating 240 volts, right? So um this runs down into this thing see it does right and then it goes outside into the air conditioner the white one and the black one same thing runs into there runs to the air conditioner and then there's a ground like in case it rains and rain gets on it see and that ground just hooks up to the ground on the panels not uh where the white wires go but on the ground right Pretty straightforward. That's how you get 240 volts. Um, if you want to get 120 volts, like a normal plug-in, so all of these 
basically the black wire goes into right like goes through the fuse and then it goes into this so the black wire and a white wire wherever it is right goes into this so that creates 120 volts like one of those black and white see there's another one black and white black and white black and white 120 volts right but if you combine the black wire and the red wire you will get 240 volts so what we need to do is we need to make this thing red and this thing black which it already is so let's start with that i'm going to cut these to length and show you uh, one thing we got to do guys is you got to have them at the same spot so like this runs to some kind of plug-in you got 120 volts going to like a plug-in and the whatever the bedroom or something right so we're going to take this fuse move it up here we're going to disconnect that wire and move it up there so that way when we're hooking up these two wires we can have them exactly together um okay so let me move this up right now okay guys I, i'm just prepping this right now and i just want to explain it one more time really quick in case eh, i didn't make sense the first time Okay, so here we have our new three wires coming in, right? We got the black, the white, and the ground, right? So if I hooked up the black wire to here, right? Just like this, boom, that's hooked up. And then I hooked up the white wire to here. That would make 120 volts at the water heater, get it? And then obviously your ground goes with all the grounds you can see because it's here all the grounds go there that's like the third prong on the plug-in basically so that goes there no matter what um so yeah that there and this there makes 120 volts if i hooked up this wire for example to the other side see the red one it doesn't make a difference so if i hooked up this here right put a fuse in and hooked up this here you're still getting 120 volts nothing has changed but if you hook up the black wire to one side, see, like the black wire goes in, the red wire goes in. So if you hook up the black wire there and the white wire there, right? And then you're getting 240 volts, guys, 240 volts, boom. And then this thing, right? This still just hooks up to the grounds. That way, in case your water heater starts uh, leaking water inside or something and something shorts out, that will blow the fuses, right? And then as far as the fuses goes, um, okay, let, let me just hook that up. You get it, and I'll show you how to put the fuses in and the rating of them. Okay, guys, so there we have it all hooked up. So there's the black wire going in. I made the white wire red with electrical tape, right? We got the ground hooked up there. Everything is good to go. So what you need now is two 20 amp fuses like this, and you just screw them in. So these two fuses now are for your water heater. This one and this one. If one of them goes, it's not gonna work. Okay, let's go in the garage and turn the power on. And if we touch our multimeter to there and to there, it will give us 240 volts, guys. Okay, guys, we're back in the garage. Let's turn the power on. And yes, that is a 100 amp panel in the basement there. Okay, everything looks good so far. Let's go in the basement and see if everything's working. And yeah, guys, if you're not gonna throw me a subscription, at least give me a like. Okay, let's go in the basement, check the voltage, make sure the water is getting hot, and we're good to go, guys. Okay, guys, the power is on. So now you can put your year to the tank and you'll hear it buzzing. Yeah, oh yeah, I can hear the element going. Okay, let's go check the voltage at the panel. Okay guys, we're at the panel, final test. Let's see what the voltage is at. So we're gonna touch one to there, and the other one to there. Boom! There you go guys, 240 volts, just like that. So obviously turn your power off, Put this thing back together. Give me a like. Till next time, everybody.